By 1991, the Russians had spent 25 years developing a jet fighter that would surpass the capabilities of the Harrier jump jet. They wanted to create a vertical takeoff and landing plane that could fly beyond the speed of sound. It would be an ideal multi-role aircraft. But the Yak-41 fighter had some major technical issues to overcome. As the jet fuel burns, the pilot is still trapped inside. What looks like a controlled speed is deceptive. The pilot's bringing it down too fast. The plane's fuel tanks rupture and burst into flames. Fire engulfs the wreckage and there's no sign of the pilot. Seconds later, he ejects to safety. Less than a year later, an older version of the plane, the Yak-38, is put on display. Showing off their hovering capabilities, the two fighters sit eerily still, just a few dozen metres above the runway. In a choreographed routine, they circle each other. Then, just seconds after they return to their starting points, one of the plane's engines cuts out. An instant after the pilot realises he's lost control, he bails out and the plane plummets. Thankfully, the pilot lands safely on the tarmac. The accident happened because the exhaust from the plane on the left was sucked into the engine of the plane on the right. This caused the catastrophic engine failure. 